Welcome back to Firefly the board game. We're playing a three-player game of a Harkins Folly, which is right here. I'll let you zoom in on that. Uh, if you want, read through it. And there you go. So first up, Marco, he's sitting here with the Corvette, Alliance Corvette. Let's go to his play area because he's kind of sitting out here in the middle of space. We're going to see what he is up to for his first uh, two actions. All right, so Marco is going to do a full burn for his first action. He will dump some fuel out. And he has, of course, the Radian Mark II, which lets him go up to six spaces. So let's get to the main board, and he's going to start moving. All right, Marco's first move, he's moving right, uh, he's moving right here to, into the Lux system. And then, of course, his Alliance space. So let's see what we get for the, uh, the big black. Keep flying. Not a problem. His second move is to move right over here to Persephone. Another card, and at this time it's just keep her in the air. Break down, full stop, keep flying, or spend apart, keep flying. He's going to make the roll. Uh, he doesn't care if he has to full stop, because that's where he's going to end his turn anyway. So we'll go to his area, and he'll just make a quick roll. And then I think his second action, he's going to be buying something at Persephone. All right, so take a look at the symbols. He's got one, he's got two, he's got three mechanic symbols. And if we look at the little card here, it's a breakdown. So he needs a five plus. Uh, or nothing really much happens anyway, but we'll just see what he gets. He rolls a four, four and three is seven. So as you can see, he does not actually have a breakdown. He keeps her in the air, but he's now at Persephone for his second action. He will do a buy action. And let's take a look at his cash here. And he's probably going to get some more fuel. Uh, so he's got 2,000. Oh, he's got quite a bit of money. Anyhow, let's get over to the, uh, the board, take a look at the cards for Persephone, and he'll be doing a buy action. All right, so he's sitting here at Persephone, and so the, in the discard pile for Persephone is nav charts, the mule he doesn't need, or booby traps. I think he's going to look at this one, possibly, and that means he gets two more off the top of the Persephone deck, and he gets... Dobson's Vector Pistol, fire him, he gets to buy firearms at half price, and a hacking rig, ooh, oh boy, all right, um, oh, he's going to definitely buy Dobson's Vector Pistol, maybe using kosherized fights does not count towards gear limit, cool, so you can take this and something else, right on, um, yes, and hacking rig, all right, let's go over to his play area, he's going to be spending some, some of his hard-earned uh, credits, and he's probably getting two of these. All right, so of the three cards, he will be purchasing the uh, hacking rig for a thousand, and he gets this. He has, can buy firearms at half price because he's the gun runner. Explosives and firearms. So this is only going to be three hundred. So that's thirteen hundred. He's going to buy four fuel, seventeen hundred, and a parts which will be a, a cool 2,000 credits. He has 2,700. 2,000 credits gets him all that. And then, of course, this goes back to the discard pile. Let me get all of this stuff sorted on his player mat. Oh, and we'll be right back. All right, Marco's pretty pleased with himself. What's really cool is his enforcer now has the firearm. And it says you get plus one when carrying a firearm, so a negotiate. So right now, Marco's got one, two, three, four, five guns. He's got one, two, three, four negotiate. And he's got one, two, three, four mechanic skills. Uh, and he's doing pretty good. He's got, a whole, he's got his fuel and he's got an extra parts in there. All right, that's the end of Marco's turn. Over we go now to ourselves, ourselves Corbin. We're going to see what we're going to do. All right, we are sitting here at the Space Bazaar with Nandy. Uh, and the first thing we're going to do is a... By action. So we're going to take a look. Uh, this is what's in there. Right, Space Bazaar. We have a breaching tool and we have an Intel broker. I just don't like the wanted uh, crew member, but e and I think we can only have one more crew. We'll consider this guy. We won't consider the explosives. So put that back. We're going to take two more off the Space Bazaar deck. Ugh. Or take a look and see what they are. Oh, what do we have here? Ship upgrade. We have no space for ship upgrades. Uh, but we could get, oh, we can only get one of these guys. We don't have enough space. So the Intel broker or, oh, plus one when carrying a firearm. A Merc. And he's not wanted. Oh, man, I think I know what we're going to do. All right, let's go to our play area. We can buy up to two cards. Actually, we can buy three, I think. 
All right, so we're going to be buying one of these characters, and I think we're going to be getting the Merc, because we are we have a crew size of six. We have five already. Of course, your captain counts as a crew. So we're just going to go ahead and purchase this guy 200. It's nice, because when carrying a firearm, he gets uh, negotiate. So we're going to take the firearm, which is currently with Corbin, and we're going to attach that to this guy, which means he gets plus one negotiate now because of it. I love that ability. And of course, we just go back here. Alrighty, and that's going to cost us a couple hundred dollars. Now, do we want any fuel? Um, I don't know. I don't think we want to buy. Now, we've got five fuel. I don't think we want to buy any. So these guys go to the discard pile of Space Bazaar. And for our second action, I guess we are going to do a full burn. And we have a Nishka job. The last one, we're, we're solid with everybody else. We have to get ourselves over to Silverhold. So let's make our way over to Silverhold if we can. Full burn. All right, we're going to be doing a full burn. We're going to be trying to get down here to Silverhold. That's where our Nishka job is. So our first movement, yes, we're going through border space. Not too worried. We have a pilot, we have a mechanic, we've got fuel. We could do a crazy Ivan and evade him if we have to, if it gets moved into our spot. But let's find out what we've got. All right, border space. And we have, oh goodness, ghost ship. I got a bad feeling about this. Keep flying. Or we can do a salvage op. Uh, seven plus we could probably do is take a thousand full stop. Oh boy, that is so tempting. That is so very tempting. Um, but the one to six kill two crew full stop. I do not know. We're going to, we're just going to, we've got a bad feeling. We're going to keep flying past the ghost ship. So our second move, we're going to go over here. We're still in border space. And, um, what's that noise? It doesn't sound too good. We've got to break down full stop. Keep flying. Spend a part. Keep flying. Let's go to our play area. And maybe we're going to try fixing something. We'll find out. All right, we're taking a look at our skills. We don't even have to roll the die because we have one, two, three, four. We have five mechanic skill. We roll a one on the, anything we roll on the die is gonna give us a six plus. So we just keep flying. We are full, uh, we're, we're good to go. We even have lots of parts we could spend apart, but we just, we're, we just keep flying. Let's keep going. That's why it's vitally important to have lots of uh, mechanic skill on your ship. So our final destination, right here, final move, we do get to Silverhold. I mean, it's just quite cut off, but I'm going to be filming the floor. <laughs> this mat is so big. Final movement into border space and uh, dangerous salvage op. Okay. Uh, oh, it's a dangerous salvage op. Eight salvage op. Kill two crew, low two good. Kill a crew load three goods, eight plus load five goods. Do we want to live crazily? We have five mechanic skill. We'd need to roll three plus or we kill. I don't think we want to kill any of our crew. We we Once we're solid with Nishka, then we can maybe, uh, maybe we can do stuff like that. But we're just going to say we ain't got the chops. So we're just going to keep flying and we're finished at Silverhold. That is where we want to be. And that's the end of our turn. So good stuff there. Up next is Nandy. Nandy's sitting here to Amon Dual Space at the Space Bazaar. Let's figure out what she wants to do. All right, so the first thing Nandy's gonna do here at the Space Bazaar is a buy action. So let's take a look at the discard of the Space Bazaar, which is down. Nobody wants this poor guy, but he's wanted. And Nandy's had a little bit of issues with wanted personnel. Explosive breaching tool, ooh. Plus one crunch by so much. Does she want that? She's got quite a bit of money. Ah, she's fishing for good crew. She's gonna dump all of that. Three more off the top of the Space Bazaar deck. One, two, three. And let's see what she gets. Oh boy, she has a gun hand. Probably she, she gets, uh, she can hire a crew for uh, no cost. And wash, oh my goodness. Oh, he's moral, well so is she. Mechanic and negotiate big damn heroes. Uh, when you proceed while well, misbehaving, take 100 hard burn plus one to fuel range. So now she can go six or eight if she gets washed. And a crybaby. All good things. She is going to go ahead and get wash and the gun hand for free. She'll leave the crybaby there. 
Uh, because the second thing she's going to do is look at the Amundul jobs. So let's go to her play area. She now has wash and a gun hand. Nice! Let's put that with Nandy. Yes, indeed, Nandy has a heart of gold, which means she can hire a crew at no cost. So wash, he's a pirate, a pirate. Yes, he's a pirate, a pilot, mechanic skill, negotiate, and a gun hand. She now has her full complement of crew, but she probably was still looking to get some more equipment. Now, I wonder if she should put, she's going to go ahead and exchange the Alliance body armor, and she's going to put that on wash. You know, just in case large spikes come flying through the ship and hit him, you know, maybe he'll survive. Oh boy, it's hard to get these things all organized. All right, so for the body armor, Wash will now be wearing the body armor. And this is how she sits. So she's got one, two, three, only three negotiate skill. She's got one, two, three, four, five guns and one, two, three mechanic skill. She needs a lot more equipment, but she got that for nothing. That was her first action. Her second action now, she's going to be looking through the Amum dual jobs. Uh, she has a Nishka job that she hasn't started yet. She's solid with Patience and Badger, but she needs to get a, 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 uh, an Amum dual job. So let's have a look at those. All right, she's going to look at the Amum dual jobs. Now the discard pile, she can look at three of them. Uh, travel to Ariel, get paid 400, 400. Wow, that's dead simple. And a companion bonus. She may just go ahead and grab that one. Uh, illegal tag and bag Miranda. Nope. See how White Sun, she has to misbehave. Well, she's not even going to look at those two. She'll look at two more from Amundul. Whoops, why not grab three? She'll look at, so she's going to consider the one we just looked at. Uh, piracy, she's going to skip that. And an illegal. Nope, she's just dumping all of those. This one seems dead easy for her to do. Literally, Zircom franchising, you pay transport hub. She's got this on herself. She's a companion already. Travel to Ariel, get paid 400, 400% bonus. And Ariel is not that far away. Uh, and she's probably <laughs> going to go ahead and buy the crybaby next time. So this is the job she's taking. Uh, all right, which you weren't supposed to see, but <laughs> that's okay. We're going to go put it at her area. I know, I was supposed to keep hidden information from everyone but ourselves, Corbin. I got so excited looking at the jobs, but that's okay. Uh, she's got an Iska job. She's got an Amundul job. She needs to get solid with both of them to get goal one. Like I said, she's already solid with Patience Badger. Marco is solid with Amundul Badger. And we are solid with Badger, Patience, and Amundul. So the race is on. Back to the main board, and I, we're going to wrap up our episode for today. Okay, so we are playing Harkins Folly, and we're racing pretty heavily to get solid with everybody. Badger, Patience, I'm going to do Niska. We are out in the lead, Corbin. We're down here at Silverhold, which is our Nishka job. If we can pull that one off, we're going to be solid with all four, and we will have made our first goal. Um, and, yeah, so Nandy and the Esmeralda and Marco and the Artful Dodger are a little bit behind us. We're going to find out in future episodes what happens. This is what we're trying to do. So... Thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, subscriptions, likes. This is Firefly, the board game. We're playing the three-player game. A full game, the full verse, all expansions. The only expansions I don't have are the two promo cards that I never did seem to get a hold of, which was the, uh, the bonnet and I forget what the other one was. But that's it. Everything else is thrown in the mix. Uh, Misbehaved deck is huge. I think Breaking Atmo was the one that added, I think, 25 more cards or 30 to the Misbehaved deck. And then all the other expansions, the Kaladasa... And the Blue Sun expansions added, I think, five each. Anyway, there's just, there's a ton of content. Uh, even the base game, I think, has quite a bit of stuff. So thanks so much for watching along, and we'll see you tomorrow for the continuation of Firefly the Board Game. We're playing Harkins Folly.